Let's start with paddle boarding. Paddle boarding can be an excellent activity to reduce your stress levels. Actually, the sedative nature of the water around you is a great stress reliever. Moreover, breathing in the salty air and being on the water just by yourself can make you get rid of all the negative energy you possess. Another equally noteworthy benefit of paddle boarding is that it offers you the ideal environment for meditation. Imagine being all alone in a calm lake and all you can hear is the water and the birds chirp. This state of your body and mind offers you better memory and improved creative ability. What's more, paddle boarding gets you on your feet and helps you maintain your body as it incorporates your core, arms, legs, shoulders offering you a total workout. Last but not least, paddle boarding helps you improve your balance because you have to put the right amount of strength in combination with a correct posture in order not to fall, and ultimately a better body balance can make you balance your life in general and can make you more focused to complete your daily tasks. Moving on to swimming. Swimming is fundamentally a stress relieving activity. The water around you alongside with the endorphins you get from a workout have a direct effect not only on your muscles, but also on your state of mind. More specifically, during summer you can try to wake up early and go to the nearest beach for a swimming session, and if you do this on a regular basis you are going to feel refreshed and ready to complete any demanding task in your everyday life. Moreover, swimming is an activity that doesn't strain any of your muscles and it can be a great exercise for people with back or leg pain because it is deemed as an activity with great healing abilities. Another great benefit of swimming is that it helps you lift your mood because of the release of endorphins. A lot of aquatic programs are actually included in the treatment of psychological conditions due to the fact that they make psychologically damaged people feel happy and well. What's more, swimming can expand your social circle. In particular, when you are at the beach or by the pool, it's not just about swimming. You can arrange barbecue sessions or pool and beach games like volleyball. Things like these will make swimming extra enjoyable and they will make you create memories that can last. Now, let's go for a walk on the beach. There is nothing more soothing and invigorating than a walk on the beach, especially during the summer season. A morning walk on the beach can give you a great energy boost so as to keep up with the demanding everyday life. It gives you the opportunity to throw your problems away and relax. What's more, a walk on the beach offers other benefits related to your skin care and your cardiovascular activity. Barefoot strolls soften your soles and they remove dead skin. Moreover, walking on the beach prevents injuries, as it is much more gentle on your joints than other forms of exercise like running, which puts your joints under strain. Strength is another benefit offered by a beach walk muscles like calves, quadriceps and glutes can be strengthened because of the increased resistance. Another noteworthy benefit of a beach walk is the chance to meditate. Imagine walking all alone on an empty beach, listening to the gentle splash of the waves, sitting down, closing your eyes and just Meditate How about a bike ride? Cycling is one of the best activities to free your mind, because it promotes an inherent mindfulness. Focusing on rhythm, speed, and pedal stroke while being outdoors in a calm and peaceful scenery can make you forget about everything and leave yourself free to enjoy this moment. Moreover, cycling offers you a chance to get a sense of adventure. Strange and difficult paths, tight curves, uphills and downhills make cycling rock and can give you a powerful adrenaline rush. What's more, Cycling is an environmentally friendly activity with zero carbon emissions. So, not only does cycling have an abundance of benefits for your mental health, but also has benefits for everyone else's health. We are talking about a win-win situation for both people and the environment. 
Another remarkable benefit of cycling is that it is a low-impact activity. In that way, people with chronic illnesses or disabilities can still ride a bike as opposed to other activities like running which are inappropriate for people with genetic difficulties. All these activities aim to improve yourself and make you relax. So, take advantage of the summer season and consider taking up these refreshing hobbies.